So today I'm gonna go over my process for designing a logo. This is pretty much my process for every logo I do. Sometimes it's slightly different, but this is pretty much all the steps I take with every logo. So let's get started. Step one in my logo process is to research and kind of make up a mood board for research. I like to go and look at the company's website if they have one or their social media and kind of get an idea of what their company is about. I also like to look at some of their competitors and see what they're doing. And for a mood board, I usually go on to Pinterest and kind of search some ideas that I kind of feel like would fit within the brand. This usually comes from what the client and I have discussed and I kind of just go from there and put some things together to present to the client. And step two is to sketch your ideas out. The first thing I always do when it comes to actually designing logos is to draw with a pencil and paper. I find this is the best way to get all of my ideas out of my head as fast as possible. I've tried to do this on my iPad, but it's just not the same. That brings us to step three, which is to digitalize your drawings. I like to start on an iPad. This is an easy way to make illustrative elements. And if you don't have Illustrator for iPad and you have Creative Cloud, I would definitely recommend um, getting it. It's free. It has great vector capabilities. Um, that's what I'm using in this little clip. If you don't have an iPad, that's fine. And honestly, I don't do this for all logos. It's kind of an optional step as some logos don't have illustrative elements, but I thought I would throw this in because a lot of the logos I do do have illustrative elements in them. us to step four which is bringing everything together we're going to do that in illustrator this is a point where we actually start designing i like to start out by typing out the name of the company and then going and changing some of the font styles until i find one that i like or a few options and then kind of start designing from there by adding in any shapes any illustrative elements and kind of combining everything all together here to kind of explain what I'm doing. As you can see, the artboards have gotten very messy very fast. So what I'm doing is just taking some of the ones I like and moving them over to a new cleaner document. Um, this one will get messy again. This definitely isn't my final file. I don't know if everyone works like this, but my process is to just have as many options as possible and slowly narrow them down from there, if that makes sense.
if you're anything like me, you'll end up with a page that looks like this and you'll be feeling a bit overwhelmed right now. And that brings us to step five, which is the marination process. And here you're going to step away from your computer and stop looking at your design. If you're anything like me, looking at your design for days will make you hate everything about it. So it's best to walk away, don't think about it for a bit, and come back to your design a few days later with fresh eyes. Obviously, if you have any ideas, just come to you, draw those down, but don't actually do any designing in this time. And step six is finishing touches. At this point, you're gonna go in and add any ideas you've had during your marination process, as well as work on any final touches you need to make. So you can see here, I kind of just went in and changed some of the colors on some of the things. And then after that, I went and worked on some of my designs and kind of started setting them up to send to my client. Maybe it's not married. Maybe it's love.
last but not least is step seven and in this step we're going to be mocking everything up and making it look pretty so once you've got your final ideas decided on you can set up a new file and start placing your favorites in there now to set them up it's nice to have some versions with color and to mock them up for what they'll be used for here i'm putting them in circles to kind of represent an instagram profile picture the colors aren't too different here so I've done a mix of them throughout. I've also included some color palettes and some mock-ups on clothing tags. I don't think I got any footage of that, so apologies for that. Another thing I wanted to add is that you should always label your options. It can be super confusing if you don't label them and lead to mistakes. It's just super handy to have everything labeled so you can be like version 1B is my favorite or it needs this certain change. After that, we're gonna make a PDF and send it to the client. If you're worried about them having access to the Victor, the Victor? <laughs> if you're worried about them having access to the Vector file before they pay, I would create a JPEG or PNG first, just so it's a raster file, but I know this client quite well, so I'm not gonna do that here. And then it's time to send. I'll often do this a couple hours after making the PDF, or the next day to make sure I didn't miss anything. Along the same lines of the marination process, it's nice to come back to things with fresh eyes. Also, make sure to save your files as v1, v2, etc. again to reduce the confusion and keep your files neat and tidy. So I just wanted to finish this off by showing you the final PDF I sent to the client. These are the logos that I kind of went with. These are a lot more than I would usually choose, but I did quite a few with subtle changes. Here's the clothing tags that I was talking about earlier that I didn't have a screenshot of. The logo she ended up going with in the end is the one with the mountains with the little arc. And the final step, which is step eight, is make changes from the feedback you get from your client. And this is the final logo we went with. There weren't really any changes, she just wanted a second color option, so that's a green color there. I also made a pattern out of the wavy text here. Um, just nice to have an option. I am a big fan of the pattern and I think it looks really nice with the text. So that concludes my logo process. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.